Hello and welcome to the Terry White Tech Blog. Today we're going to take a video look or an in-depth look at the Wacom Intuos 4 tablet. So I happen to have the medium tablet right here as you can see and this is this thing is really just a work of beauty. What I'm going to do is zoom out just a little bit here so you can kind of see the tablet itself and I'm going to point out a few of the features on the tablet and then we're going to put it to use. One of the most commonly asked questions I got when I you know, briefly talked about it on my blog before when it first came out at Photoshop World was, well, what if you're left-handed? Because as you can see, the tablet now has basically an LED or LCD display down the side here that actually it answers one of the most important questions I usually have is, well, I set these buttons up a long time ago to do something, what do they actually do? So now there's actually a little LCD display that shows you what you've named each button and what it does. Now the question I normally get or had been getting is, well, what if you're left-handed? Like I'm, I'm right-handed, so I like the buttons on the left side. Well, if you're right-handed, no problem. I'm sorry, if you're left-handed, no problem. You just turn the tablet over and when you set it up, it asks you, are you left or right-handed? And then it will change the LCD display to have the text the right way. Now, it's not motion sensitive, so it doesn't turn when you turn it, but it is basically configurable via the driver. Now, the other thing that's kind of neat is you have a, instead of the touch strips that were on the Intuos 3, you have a touch dial. So this will, um, and actually this has four modes. So as you can see, there's a little white dot there. So if you press the button, you're toggling between all four modes that this uh, dial can be set up to. So you can set the dial, for example, in one mode to zoom in when you're in Photoshop, for example. And another mode could be just to change the brush size. So you can still use the same touch wheel to do up to four different kinds of things based on the driver, based on the application. So I'm going to put the tab, oh, and one more thing before I put it down. The USB cable is now detachable. So you can actually unplug that. That's a standard USB 2 connection. And you can plug that in. And that way you can use any length cable you want or any USB cable you want. It's no longer tied to the actual tablet. I'm going to show you uh, a couple things about the pin that have been improved. Of course, it's a brand new pin for the Intuos 4. And this pin um, has 20, you know, the tablet itself has up to 2,500 levels of pressure. And of course, it's a wireless pin, so there's a lot of technology in the pin itself. So that's why it's unfortunately not compatible with your previous Intuos tablet or pin. Uh, I'm going to take that and put that over to the side. And of course, this is the holder that we're used to seeing. And the pin can sit that way, or of course, it can, uh, starting with Intuos 3, it could lay down. But they've even made the holder itself more useful. If you kind of take the top of it off here, you'll get to all your extra nibs, which I've never worn one of these down, but in case you need to, they're, they're right there, instead of you having to go dig for them. And even the center is a nib extractor, so it can take the nib that's out of there and let you go ahead and insert a new one. So they've just basically re-engineered this whole thing from the ground up to be a lot more functional. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump over here to Photoshop. And if I get my zooming together here, we can zoom in a little bit. And I'm working on an image in Photoshop here. And in this particular image, I'm just doing a little retouching. So I'm going to grab my pen and move over here. And I want to make my brush size smaller to get to this area. Now, of course, uh, I could use the bracket keys in Photoshop to do that. But again, I've got this handy touch dial. I'm just going to turn it to the left to dial it down to get a smaller brush. And that way, if we actually go to the right tool, let's get to the right one here. I'm in my healing brush and I can make my healing brush just a little bit bigger. And we can go ahead and then just, uh, now here, of course, with the healing brush, you need to do an option or alt click. And what I've done is I've configured the back button here on the pin itself to be an option click when I'm in the Mac. So I can just option click on a, on a clean piece of skin there and just go ahead and retouch these areas quickly with the pen. And of course, having that uh, level of pressure sensitivity is awesome, uh, having up to 2,500 levels of pressure. That's basically double what the Intuos uh, 3 had. And of course, I can uh, hold down my space bar and get my hand tool there and kind of move this image around so we can see it a little bit better. 
and it's just so much nicer being able to work um, with all the features in the tablet itself. Now, if you have the small tablet, unfortunately the small tablet does not have the LEDs, but the small tablet does have this uh, question mark button here as you can see it. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what that does and we can see it right here on screen. I'm going to zoom out just a bit so we can see what that does. Now I'm going to hold down that button so even if you didn't have the LCD screen if you just hold it down it'll quickly show you what you configure your buttons to do. So it's doing that as an on-screen overlay right on top of whatever application you're on as long as you're holding down that button so you can see exactly what you've got each button set up to do. Now, if I uh, hold down this next button on the, uh, on the Intuos tablet, this next one is a command dial. So the command dial basically lets me uh, hold it down and jump over to any particular function or application right from the pen. So if I want to quickly jump over to the web browser or quickly jump over to my email, I can do that right from the uh, command dial. So that's pretty cool just having that on-screen overlay here. If I move it down, maybe you can see it a little bit better. And there we go. So I can just jump over to whatever I've configured these things to do. And again, this is all configurable. So you can make these do whatever you want them to do and jump in and out of applications or jump in and out of functions themselves. So I've got my, uh, my buttons pretty much set to do different tools inside of Photoshop. And it's just amazing to have this particular tablet be so versatile and so functional as opposed to the Intuos 3. Now I'm still a Cintiq user. I still love my Cintiq, but when I'm traveling, I'm absolutely traveling with the Intuos 4 tablets. One more thing, you know, for those of you who are saying, well, what if I'm in InDesign, or what if I'm in a program that I really am not comfortable using a pen? Well, just like the Intuos 3, the Intuos 4 does come with a wireless uh, multi-button mouse as well. So this works right on top of the, um, the Intuos 4 tablet. So you can just you basically use the tablet like a mouse pad and move the mouse around and use it like a standard mouse. So you don't lose that capability by having a tablet. You have the best of both worlds. You have the ability to work with the pen and of course you have the ability to work with a mouse in those applications that are just easier to work with a mouse. Now some people I know are diehards. They use pens for everything but I'm not one of those people. I use a pen when a pen is appropriate. I use a mouse when it's easier to use a mouse. And I even use my trackpad as, as, com as uncommon as that may be in some cases. So that's it for this report on the Intuos 4 tablet. Great tablet, great to have the LCD, um, LCD readout here to let you know what you've configured each button in each application to do. So this will change even based on the application. And also the new touch dial is much easier to use than the touch strips. And again, much more functional because I can set it to do up to four different things. So, uh, and I never showed you that. So here, let me quickly do that. So I showed you the brush, but I'm gonna press the button twice now, which that will take me to zoom. So I can just touch, use the touch dial to zoom in and zoom out pretty fluidly right here in Photoshop CS4. So that's it for this uh, video report for the Terry White Tech Blog on the Intuos 4 tablet. You gotta check these out. These are phenomenal. They come in multiple sizes, small, medium, large, and I believe extra large. Gotta go check them out today. Wacom.com.